Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mark from Solar Games and today we're going to open a box of Innistrad Midnight Hunt Set Booster. Let's see what this is all about. <clears throat> I think usually at this point I just, you know, I don't even go over the basics anymore. You guys already know what's in these and what to expect. Basically, 12 cards per pack. There are 30 packs, so a little bit less than a draft booster. Um, but your expected number of rare mythics are basically on par with the draft boosters, even though there's six less packs, because you are likely or more likely to get two rares or something like that or more in a pack. So the average out uh, to be slightly actually better than the uh, draft boosters. All right, so let's get started. Our card. Okay, one, two, three, four of these. One, two. Okay. Our special card is Bird Admirer. Okay, it's nothing special. Grafted Identities are rare. And then Candle Trap is our foil. Okay. Our card, Planes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Trainer. Okay, we have Vision of Dread. It's our special card. All right, so our first mythic is the Hostile, Hostile Hostile. Uh, this one flips over to the uh, Creeping Inn. So that's what that card is on the flip side. All right, next one. Okay. All right, so that's there. Four. One, two. Special card is this. Delver Secrets, Slaughter Specialist. And that's it. Okay. Four. Turn the earth. Wither horn blessing. Wither thorn. Uh, winter thorn blessing. Candle witch. Special card. Village watch. Ha, huh, yes. So the village watch all turn into vampires. Yeah, that's right. They're all special vampires. Uh, yeah. Yep. All right. Fateful Mending is our special card. It's nothing special here. Sigarda is our second mythic here, and we have Arlen, Voice of the Pack. This is from um, War of the Spark. Arlen from War of the Spark. Okay, all right, here we go. Three of these, boom, 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 yes. Okay, Haunted Ridge is our rare. Candle Grove Witch is our Oil. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm wondering what everyone thinks about uh, Innistrad so far. Is the drafting fun? Do you find it interesting? Um, is the mechanic too difficult for beginner players, right? Is it beginner friendly? I think that's actually kind of important. Saren, Viper's Fane, and then Bloody Ghost. Um, you know, obviously this game has phases of complicated and not complicated. Um, I'm actually kind of also interested in what happens next year when they release the Innistrad Plus, um, uh, the two Innistrad set, the Midnight Hunt and the um, the Vow set as well, so the Vampire side, and then see what it looks like when you draft both together. So the special card is our Rockfall uh, Veil, which is our full art land, kind of uh, borderless. No, these are full arts. Yeah, they still have a border, not, not borderless. Okay, Florian <clears throat> is our second rare. So like, as an example, that pack had two rares in it. So, all right, here we go. Our signed artist card. Island, one, two, three, four, Jackal Lantern, Ghoul, Rebirth. Okay, all right. So we have a Birdmire and Overgum Farmland. More Birdmires and the foil. All right, so here, foil forest, okay. 
Corpse Cobble, Fish Taker, okay, Harvester, Tavern Raffian, Shady Traveler, Suspicious Stowaway, Tavern Raffian, and a Day Token. All right, Geist, Plains, Way Out, okay, Evolving Wilds, Audric, Red of Oblivion, Dawnheart Wardens, Tireless, and Pithing Needle, Oregon uh, Hoarder, and our, oh cool, our list card is the Dark Depth, which is a legendary snow land, I'll show it to you, um, and it comes in play with 10 ice counters on it, remove an ice counter, three and remove ice counter from this card. Yeah, so when Dark Death, Depth has no ice counters on it, sacrifice it. If you do, put an indestructible legendary 2020 black avatar creature token with flying named Marit Log La, 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 into play. It's cool. Yeah. So you crack the ice, right? Once you crack all the ice, uh, 30 minutes invested, um, you get a 2020 legendary. It's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, and it's also snow permanent, so for, you know, the cards that count it. Suspicious, suspicious Stowaway is our special rare. Okay, we have the Drifter, okay, and Ghoul Caller Harvest. Blessed Defiance is our foil. Okay. Here, this, one, two, three, four, one, two, okay, one, all right, so Sludge Monster is our foil, and we have a Selesnia Key Rune. Yay! Uh, why, why, why not just do the um, <laughs> why do the Key Runes? Why not just do the the Signets? They're not really that much crazier. Sign Artist cards: two, three, four, one, two. Special card. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Catilda is our. Uh, rare, and then we have a Foil Candle Grove Witch, Human Warlock, in the Equinox frame. Alright, Island, one, two, three, four, Foul Play, Mire, okay, Curse of Silence, and uh, Vampire Interloper. Right. I found that with the pull tabs, you kind of just have to commit, you know, really rip it, rip it down. And that's usually easier than if you kind of like half-heartedly uh, do it. Okay. Bloodline Culling is our rare. Like that. If you just rip it down, you get a nice rip. It opens nicely. Okay. Three. Okay. One, two. Special card, Ruffian. Okay. Two of these, three of these, okay, are, uh, okay, so we have a uh, Spectral Adversary is our Mythic, number three, and a Foil Overgrown Farmland as our Foil Rare. All right, okay, Mountain, one, two, three, Seize the Storm, yep, so Visions of Dominance, Okay, so this is an interesting pack. We get uh, Visions. We also get a Commander uh, Mythic Rare. So that's nice. So that's two rare Mythic Rare. And then uh, we get Sun Gold Sentinel and Revenge of the Drowned. Okay. All right. Mountain. Three, four. Hungry for more. Vampire Solicit. Ooh, we have a Jaren in the special frame. So, uh, yeah, Jaren the Corrupted Bishop in the special frame. Special Eternal Night frame. Excellent. <clears throat> so that's Mythic number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two here. Ludovic, Necrogenius is our rare. Moving on to the next pack. Yeah, actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's take a look at Darren. Uh, Jaren, the Corrupted Bishop, a little bit more. All right, so front side looks like this. The back side looks like this. Yeah, so that purple really looks really nice on that for black. It's nice. Very cool, very cool. Actually, Jaren, I'll just put up here. All right, uh, I think I saw my rear. Okay, foil swamp. One, two, three, four, 
One, two, three, four, okay. Dinnick, Pious Apprentice, and Pax Betrayal. Okay, cool. Pax Betrayal. Um, uh oh. Oh, okay, the card slid up, okay. Um, I'm really liking the fact that they've um, they've really done something cool about the lands in every pack. So each pack now, uh, you know, from from these series, like I think Adventures in the Forgotten Realm had the lands that have the special flavor art uh, flavor text that's just from for 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 AFR, and then of course for this set they have these Eternal Night for Art lands, which are really really unique and cool looking. So I really like it, and it fits really well into the Innistrad theme. It's really not contrived. Liesa. Good card, Sunset Revelry, and Hondun, Infinite Rage. It's one of the uh, Shrine cards. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if you're playing the Shrine deck, which I think one of my friends was doing that, uh, you, yeah, that's a cool card to have. Four. Okay, one, two, Sunrise Cavalier, yep. Okay, Revelry. Hountainer, Rem. Okay. Rem, uh, Carulus. Stort Slayer. Yeah, there's a cycle of 10 legendary creatures in rare. Um, pretty interesting cards, honestly. All of them are very, fairly, fairly powerful. Um, could be very useful in Commander. Field of Ruin. Um, we have a Bird Admirer. We have a, a Bereaved Survivor. Ah, here we go. It's the best part. So what, this is a Bereaved Survivor. What's on the back of Bereaved Survivor? Oh, Dauntless Avenger. She's definitely she's definitely going for the the the, the, um, the revenge there. Okay, Champion of the Parish, and yeah. <clears throat> so this box so far we have uh, five mythics. I wonder if we can go for five, four mythics. One, two, three, five. Okay, I wonder if we can go for seven for this box. I think the highest I've seen so far for set boosters uh, box is seven, but maybe we can go higher. There's nothing to stop us from doing that. Okay, Jadar Ghoul Caller, and we have a, oh, cool. So Selfless Spirit is our uh, list card, and of course we have uh, the Graveyard Trespasser in, uh, it's the foil rare, but also in the um, Showcase Equinox frame. So there you go. Yeah, so this is a Graveyard Trespasser. Uh, flow. All right. So let's see. Land one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, special card. All right. Uh, Reckless Stormseeker is our rare, and Howl for the Hunt is our foil. Okay. With four, five packs left. Um, let's see what we get. I think, I think one more mythic at least is fairly likely. Uh, I think two more mythics is tough, but uh, it's doable as well. I think, especially at this point, it's still a little fur. Desert Beach is our um, rare. For a second, I thought we had a, a foil Ren and Seven, uh, but no, not a foil Ren and Seven. All right. Okay. Cool. So here, forest, one, two, three, four. Join the dance, ritual of hope, vision of ruin, rejuvenator, storm the festival, and diagraph horde. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's Ren, but it's not quite the same. Uh, three, one, two, three, one, okay, here we go, Triska, I really don't know how to pronounce this, Triskade Kafile, Tris, Triskaidecafile, oh, Triska, Triskaidecafile, all right, cool, basically this card, draw, if you draw 13 cards, you win the game, you have no max hand size as well, so. Our rare, uh, our foil is the uh, Dire Strain Rampage, foil rare. So definitely above. Um, here, we'll do something at the end of this video to show you 
So two, three, four. Okay, so we're definitely not going to hit uh, eight mythics or whatever, seven. Um, but we can still go for six, I think. One, two. We haven't seen a mythic for a little bit. So maybe one is coming. Uh, okay, here we go. Siphon. Insight. Stinger. Fireball. Not a mythic. Last pack. Can we do it? Can we not? Feeling like it's not going to happen, but you never know. You never give up. Okay, for a second I thought this pack was cut weird. Two, three, four. Okay. Lunar Frenzy. Storm Steelix. Witch Mirror. Ah, it's not. Uh, Old Seek Finger is our rare. Ritual of Hope. And day. So this box only uh, five, five mythics. Five mythics. Um, not too bad. Just you know, pretty pretty on par. Um, we've got a couple really good uh, lands. Um, I want to do something too. Let's see. So if we count the rares, we have one, two, three, four, and then what's in here? Uh, one, two, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, that makes sense, there's three, right? So these are the natural rares in that slot, so there's three mythics, so there's 27 of these rares, but you also have 27 plus uh, these three, so 30, 31, and then over here we have four more, so honestly, all in all, you're getting um, 30, 35 rares, that's pretty good. Um, I think in a normal draft box, I mean, obviously you have 36 chances for a rare or mythic, but you're obviously going to hit some mythics in there too. So uh, let's let's put it this way, right? So if we exclude these rares here, actually, here not all of these are uh, foil. So these two are foil. This is a foil. This is not a foil. So if we exclude the non-foil, so you have 27, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40, so you're getting 40-ish like rare, mythic, foil, non-foil, special treatment cards. That's pretty good. Um, it's not likely that you, in a draft box, you're going to get more than about 38, right? So, yeah, the rates are pretty good. And I would say this is probably one of the um, not as good uh, set booster box openings. So there's definitely better ones as well. So... Yeah, given that, I would say, uh, yeah, set boosters, if you want more rare mythics, it's definitely the way to go. All right, this is, all right, so peace out. See ya.